You work with Miss Lawrence. Topanga? <laughs> Give me your hand. <laughs> Why? I want to see if our energies converge. <laughs> He's vibrationally acceptable. <laughs> Topang is like totally strange. Strange is in the eye of the beholder, Mr. Matthews. Corey, I got Jedediah to drive me to your house after school. Who's Jedediah? My father. Wait. You call your father Jedediah? That's his name. What do you call your father? Well, like a lot of normal people, I refer to him as dad. <laughs> then how do you tell him apart from all the other dads? <laughs> Look, Topanga, is there any way we can do this assignment on the phone? Or by telepathy? <laughs> it concerns our environment. I think it deserves more direct attention. OK, OK, I'll see you at my house after school. Read this poem out loud. Poem? Please, not a poem. <laughs> Son, the only, the one. <laughs> Donut in the sky, space, big gaping place. <laughs> Without, within, our skin. Donut in the sky. Freon, <laughs> fluorocarbon, humpback whale, so pale, exhaust, is all lost? Donut in the sky. <laughs> yeah, we could do that in front of the class. But before we do, will you just please take a huge baseball bat and hit me over the head? <laughs> you didn't think it had meaning? Yeah, it means we'll be laughed out of school. <laughs> Go ahead, laugh. Your hair looks different. Why would I laugh? I never knew I had it in me. Sometimes the reluctant warrior is the bravest warrior. <laughs> You're not gonna, like, kiss me now, are you? <laughs> Would it be your first kiss? Hey, don't come near me. <laughs> because it would be interesting if all your life you remembered that your first kiss happened when you thought you looked weird, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't be interesting. Get away. <laughs> because then you'd know it's not what you look like on the outside that matters. It's what kind of person you are. You shouldn't kiss somebody you're not married to. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I would have to feel I really knew the person and that I liked him. Good. Good. It was my first one, too. Yeah, I'll be there. Topanga. I'm channeling. I will only answer to the name. <laughs> okay, present, but not all here. Uh, Hunter. I'd rather have the earth crying than my friends laughing. People make fun of you, Topanga. So? I couldn't take it. I just want to blend in. Well, you're sure good at it. You look like all the other plain-wrapped kids at school. Except for your red hat. Hey, I got that on cat night. I had to wait an hour in line. Well, if it's important to you, then it's beautiful. Aww. Got the stuff. <laughs> Use a mirror, babe.
President of the United States. Very ambitious, Miss Lawrence. Yes and no. Not many people want the job anymore. Oh, why is that? Well, now that I've disbanded the military and eliminated nuclear weapons, the position is not as seductive. I see. That's rather an unusual costume for a president, isn't it? We all wear togas now. It removes the hostile competition that fashion often creates. <laughs> this world of yours seems like quite a peaceful and loving place. Yes, especially since we moved all men underground and used them just for breeding. <laughs> Miss Lawrence, would you please trade places with Mr. Matthews? All right. I'm a hyperactive, underachieving, 11-year-old boy. I, I meant physically. Oh, well, that takes less of a psychic toll. <laughs> Why do I have to move? We were just giving our view of the book. Yeah, I mean, you say literary masterpiece, we say... Eh. What are you talking about? How are we gonna know what to ask for if we don't have commercials? Christmas is the celebration of the winter solstice an ancient tribal ritual whose origins are lost in time. Yeah, we were just talking about that in the bathroom. <laughs> Listen, Topanga, I, I think I can hear them calling you back into your own dimension. Oh, yeah, they're saying, Topanga, get your aura back here. <laughs> and bring Minkus. <laughs> Mr. Feeney told you not to say the pledge? Today's social study discussions, American traditions, the Pledge of Allegiance versus Social Protest. Mr. Matthews, defend all glory. Miss Lawrence, defend the right to dissent. Just because it's a tradition doesn't mean you have to do it. But it's the Pledge of Allegiance. It takes like 10 seconds to say. Why can't you just say it and make everyone happy? Because if I'm forced to do it, just because it's some tradition I don't understand, then it doesn't make me happy. Can you spell peculiar? <laughs> oh, and you're normal? You talk to a flag every day and you don't even know what you're saying. But I do it. I do it because I'm supposed to do it. And that's what makes me a great American. <laughs> that's what makes this country great. That flag. Because that flag gives us the right to have this discussion. And this discussion is the most important discussion we will ever have. And I, out of here. Hi, Corey. Hey, look who just being down. Hi, Topanga. I missed you at the game Saturday. What game? Your father's grocery store against my father's bookstore. Uh, Topanga, in this dimension, there was no game. Yes, there was. I played. Topanga, that game was canceled. You wish? We were killing you until your father's assistant manager tried to throw the ball home from center field and sprained his elbow. The ambulance had to come and take him away. <sighs> There's always an ambulance. <laughs> My father told me that game was called off. Well, it wasn't. Does anyone else have any thoughts on this problem? Home. <laughs> I'm channeling the ancient Egyptian mathematician who first solved this problem. <laughs> Check, please. <laughs> All right, Miss Lawrence, let's see what you've come up with. Well. <laughs> Oddly enough, you and your metaphysical lab partner have arrived at the correct answer. <laughs> Let me see that. <laughs> nice demon. Interesting, isn't it, Mr. Matthews? Mr. Minkus didn't get the correct answer, but Miss Lawrence did. You would do well to consider that in your search for your answer. Why do you care so much what other people think? When people laugh at you, they're depleting their own karmic reservoir. <laughs> You're gonna be one of those girls who doesn't shave her legs, aren't you? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Do you actually try to be weird? I don't think I'm weird. I think I'm unique. Jedediah and Chloe say that every time you're not true to yourself, the Earth weeps. <laughs> Do they say that in their native Martian? <laughs> the Earth is crying for you, Corey. 
Uh, Topanga, what are you doing? <laughs> Moving my desk out of the way. I've decided I'd rather sit on a traditional yoga cushion. Yeah, Topanga. If we're going to eliminate the cap rule, can we also describe the dress code in its entirety? Why? You're not thinking about showing up, like, naked tomorrow, are you? <laughs> no. Although I find nothing shameful about nudity. I was thinking about wearing garments from cultures more in tune with the goddess. A sari, perhaps. Or a pareo. Yeah, fine, as long as you're covered up. And how did you arrive at that conclusion? I found out that sometimes we need to learn to think differently. That's how Topanga knew, because she thinks differently. Really differently. <laughs> Did your spirit guide talk to you and give you the answer? Yeah, my mom. It's Minkus in Love. Watch what happens when 48 pounds of nearsighted geek meets 10 pounds of hair from a parallel universe. <laughs> ha! <laughs> I think people who judge other people by their outward appearances are shallow and ignorant and will have much to answer for in their next life. Well, that may be the way it works on Remulac, but here on Earth, you're a nerd, you pay. Thanks for dropping them off. I thought perhaps I could stay here and enjoy them with you. Milk's in the fridge, babe. Hey, not bad. My sister Nebby made them. Nebby? Don't you mean Debbie? No, Nebby. It's short for Nebula. Nebula stopped the war, Lawrence. <laughs> so your parents thought, like, what? Linda was already taken? <laughs> hey, cool brain. You like it? I can put one in your hair. You can? Sure. Do you have some ribbons and a rubber band? Upstairs in my room. You know, I'd like to see more of her, and less of him. <laughs> yep, brownies, braid, she does it all. But uh, now she has to do it all at home. But I was hoping I could see You can't. We're over the legal hair limit of this room. <laughs> well, that wasn't very polite. I can't afford to be polite, Mom. I'm polite squish. I hear a lot of men treat the women they love like that. I'll kill you, Sean. You know, we got a little girlfriend action going on here? No. Yep. Cory and Topanga sitting in a tree. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That was good for me. That'll give me time to get home and get ready. Get ready? I mean, get the tape. That's all. Bye. Is she gone? Oh, no. More hair. <laughs> Dad. He's going to be my father? Yes! And Miss Lawrence, your mother. No! I am Topanga's model husband. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just flat out looking forward to this. I live my life in harmony with the physical and metaphysical world, aligned with the Navajo spiritual path. Uh-huh, okay, um, I could do that. I'd love to do that. There's just one little thing that might throw this off just a smidge. What? I'm not a Navajo! <laughs> you don't have to be a Native American to be in tune with nature. Don't you hate it when Mom and Dad fight? No, into it. <laughs> well, we're not fighting long, because I got something here that'll take the fight right out of Mom. Read it and weep, little big hair. <laughs> my model wife won't care how dirty my room gets. <laughs> She will always let me win at video games. She will play street hockey at any time, day or night. Why don't you just marry Sean? Because our kids would look like horses. A person's body is his temple. If our son wants to ornament his temple with a tattoo, let him worship in his own way. Nam Yoho Renge Kyo, you are so bizarre. I've decided without benefit of discussion with my spouse, because that's the kind of husband I know you'll be. <laughs> the tattoo will have to wait. Whoa! Cool! 
Stuart, a tattoo. It speaks to me. <laughs> Minkus, what's the deal? We agreed on no tattoo. Mr. Feeney's is it's not very evolved to ridicule the human form. Each of our bodies is the master creation of Mother Nature. Well, except for Minkus. <laughs> he was created by Mother Goose. <laughs> Anybody ready for a dip? Yep, and here he comes. <laughs> Minkus, you look like a stick of juicy fruits. <laughs> you wearing a wetsuit too, Mother Nature? No. What's the matter? No funny remarks? Uh, you got anything? I got nothing. Uh, you got anything? Snap out of it. She's just a girl in a bathing suit. Insult her. No, from now on, I'm gonna be insulting you. <laughs> Topanga? Wait, Topanga, thanks for bringing the tea, but I don't need to drink it, because I'm not technically sick. Then why did you say you were? Well, I guess because I didn't know how to tell you. I'm not ready to go out on a date yet. That's okay. Jedediah and Chloe have always told me, listen to your inner voice. It'll let you know what is true for you. Yeah, my parents said that too. Oh, I was just practicing. I envy your athletic ability. Well, this, it's not so hard. Come on, I'll give you some pointers. All right, first, you grab some ammo. <laughs> Ninja Turtles? And now they're gone. Um... Miss Lawrence? You will be playing the tragic heroine Ophelia. Now, this is a challenging role. She goes quite insane. Topanga insane? What a stretch. <laughs> if I were a less evolved person, I'd say cram it, Brillo head. <laughs> Mr. Mick. No, no, actually, this is a doublet and tights, which is how male actors dressed back in the 1600s. See? You know, maybe if Hamlet had worn pants, he could have made a decision or two. Is that a sexist comment? That's what I was shooting for. <laughs> it's nice that you help your father with the laundry. Yeah, well, we're a fairly cutting-edge family, so uh, my mom does most of the laundry. I'm just helping out because Mother's Day's coming up. So you're doing chores for your Mother's Day gift? You think I could get away with it? <laughs> what are you getting your mom? I could use some ideas. At our house, we don't celebrate Mother's Day. We feel it's merely a commercial fabrication of the greeting card industry. <laughs> she has, however, asked for a dust buster. <laughs> my mom's pretty well set for small appliances. And my funds are sort of limited. You don't need money. You just need to use your right brain. Wow. All these years, I've been using the wrong one. <laughs> so what do you think I should get my mom? You can never go wrong with something from the heart. Right or left heart? <laughs> You're killing me, Corey. <laughs> Topanga, you and I have to get something straight. Yes, Corey? Friday night, when you came over to my house, that was not a date. I'm not into labels. Yeah, but if you were, what we had Friday night would not be labeled a date. Because if you'll recall the circumstances of that evening, I canceled what would have been labeled a date. That's fine, Corey. It was not a date. Well, I'll see you later. OK. Hey, Topanga. You know, your idea about writing my mom a poem for Mother's Day really worked out great. She cried. Tears are the thank you notes of the soul. You know a lot about women. Well. I am going to grow up to be one. <laughs> Let's... All right, I'll do the color. You just worry about getting the ball in the basket. Topanga's triple teamed at the timeline. She breaks the trap, heads to the top of the key, and leaps toward the basket, doing a spiraling tomahawk 360. Slam dunk! <laughs> Look, we both made a basket.
basket. <laughs> I welcome the changes that will transform me from a caterpillar into a butterfly. You say a butterfly, I say a hairball with wings. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful outlook, Miss Lauren. your aura. What is it? It's called boncha tea. It smells like a bunch of gym socks. <laughs> Corey, it's a remedy that's been used for centuries. Best if used before Lincoln's assassination. <laughs> I just wanted to help you feel better. I'm sorry if I bothered you. Focus our psychic energies on lighting the bulb. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Quiet. Uh, none of the electricity made it to the bulb, Topanga. It all got stuck in your hair. There's your problem. No one here is taking this seriously. They don't care about your experiment, Topanga. The only way to demonstrate the power of their selfish minds is to have them concentrate on something they really want to see happen. <laughs> The bolt didn't light.